everyone, Ann Martin Fry here, founder and CEO of Homeless to Independence Inc. And um, I'm I'm here with the with the red bell pepper seeds. I just got them out of um, our pantry. They've been in a dark pantry room, and I'm seeing these for the first time with you folks. Uh, let's see. This is uh, we're going to be um, working and cleaning on these. Put that there. And it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be because um, I've seen on other people's videos how there might have been like a, like a foam or something like that. But they're still doing all right. And you can feel, feel the gel actually. The, they're encased in a gel inside the seed. And that's what we have to um, do. In order so I have a pot here I have a strainer here the strainer is a little bit worn here and that's why I have the pot so I'm gonna do that now these seeds are not that small so if I had like small tomato seeds and things of that nature it would be different it would be a lot different now what they tell you to do is to go ahead and you're supposed to do this with the water just to get as much of that um that encasement off and like i said i have it over the, the pot just in case because this is an older strainer it's an older strainer and you can when they start really um Stick into your fingers. That's it. That that's the point there. That you know you're pretty well done. So I'm gonna put it there. Let that dry. Oh, when did get through? See? Why do we do that? Come here, you. We're catching a goldfish. Now that's what I wanted to do anyway. I let them strain out. Give me one second. Let me get some paper towels here. This bowl we're going to put to the side. We're not going to use that again because it's been sitting, and we do know that you know organisms and bacteria and all grow on that. So yeah, I just dried my hands on it, but it won't do it. No, nothing bad. Still got water coming off. Let me get that seed. And then you're gonna put them right on there. They all came off. And uh, the few that did not, I'm gonna get them on, on here. And then I'm gonna let them sit on here i'll probably end up putting them on a baking sheet something flat not something that um will have um the rounded edges it needs to be something flat so the air can circulate and dry these appropriately uh, again these are my red pepper seeds that i got from a beautiful pepper i got shopping a week or so ago they were on sale a dollar each so if i'm gonna and it was a delicious pepper too so anytime that you find a nice uh, vegetable or a fruit see how they're sticking that means i did this i did the i did it correctly <laughs> so all right I guess so the worst is done so to speak as i've seen photos of people that leave them even longer than that so they're, they're all pretty well i'm not going to pick this up but let me show you this way they are all pretty well at this point uh scattered 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and get the, the baking sheet. Gonna get my baking sheet and I'm gonna put this one on here and I'm gonna put it up in the pantry again probably pretty high up uh, where it's a little bit warmer and uh, as you can see here we go and now they're gonna be drying so I'm gonna check them again I'm going to do it like every two to three days. Today is Thursday. And this is day three that they were in taken out and they were put in the water and uh, put off in the pantry uh, in a dark, nice dark space, a cooler pantry. And now they're going to go up top in the pantry. I have to clear some space and they're going to go up there. And after, let me see, Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to check on them. All right. And we'll see how they're drying. We'll see how they're drying. They're, they'll probably be pretty pretty dry at that point, but we'll see because I don't want to rush anything because the whole seed needs to get dried, not just the outside of the seed. We don't want them to ferment or we don't want them to start any fungus or anything like that. Now, occasionally on a seed, you will see them starting to... Um, get like little fibers out and that's not the fungus those are actually the start of um roots so and i don't see any with any of these as of yet but we'll see we'll see what happens once in a while that does happen and then after they get situated they are going to go in a bag until i decide what i'm going to do now i know for a fact today it is Thursday, it is April 23rd of 2020, and I want to tell you that this week through Saturday, Target, if you buy $20 in the soil products that they have listed for the sale, for every $20, you will get a $5 gift card back, and then you can use that gift card. And in the past, uh, if, you, if you were to get two of those deals, you would get two gift cards. But at least you get the five back because if you're going to start growing things, you want to look for things that are on sale. You want to save your money and make those pennies squeal, right? So that's what we're doing. Now, one other thing that I'm going to do, you, you notice that my paper towels are white and I specifically purchase white paper towels with no dye on them because I'm going to try to grow these hydroponically. And there's a lot of success out there where you don't even have to buy the soil. So some seeds I am going to do uh, in a container pot. And then the other ones I'm going to do in a small pan hydroponically. And we'll see, at least to get them started. And we'll see the difference between the soil ones in a container and the hydroponic ones. So I'm really excited about this more than anything that I don't have to... I won't have, I need a pepper, <laughs> I need a pepper at least at this point, and they're growing, uh, I just go and get that pepper and use it in the, in with the meal, I don't have to worry about, oh, I got to go to Stop and Shop or Aldi, and I got to get a pepper, you know, let's see what their peppers are, if they're on, even on sale, because they can be costly too, um, and one thing that really um, frustrates me is when you get super busy now i'm not as busy as normal because of the cv19 and i'm pretty much either downstairs in the store even though the store is closed and working down there or i'm up here in my little oh i have a little office that uh, john set up for me where i do my employment and housing videos from so i'm up here so i'm able much more right now to have the time to do these kinds of things so i i'm excited i'm very excited that i can get to, that i'll be able to get to a point and grow something and have it nice and fresh instead of waiting <laughs> going to the store number one but realize that an item that gets to the store 
what process that had to go to to get to the store. It was in the field. It had to be picked. It had to go to a place to be graded, shipped somewhere else, and shipped somewhere else, and then maybe even shipped to another distribution point and then spread out in that general area to the stores. Um, and while I do know that there are many, many farmers right now that are, that are even um, selling locally to restaurants and they sell their produce on the side of the road, that's the best stuff to get. But after growing your own, that really is the best stuff to get. Because a lot of these farmers now are have gotten away from them GMO seeds, and that's what we want to do. We want to stay away from them genetically modified seeds. Seriously, they're not good for us. They're not good for our bodies. They're not good for these meat suits, so to speak. And we want to stay healthy. And that's another thing I want to bring up right now, and it's about health. Because two years ago, I was really struggling a little more than two years ago. And right up here, they found a brain tumor. It was bigger than a tangerine, and they had to literally go in and take it out. Many of you folks saw those videos that I was doing right from the hospital. They are on Homeless to Independence's Facebook page. Not my personal page, they're on my Facebook page. Uh, they used to be on YouTube, and YouTube took them off. I don't know why. There was nothing gory about it, honestly. But that's all right. So I made, since I was at that point, my body had already started because of the, you know, the reorganization of everything <laughs> there. My body had already started to um, lose weight. It, it, my body started to change. And over the past, let me see, 24, 12, 24, th about 30 months, I've already lost nearly 60 pounds. But a big part of that is because I started to be more healthy. I started doing a lot of um, looking into different um, benef benefits of different supplements. And I was listening to doctors. I wasn't listening to Joe Schmo or anybody else like that. I was listening to literal doctors about what they've been putting in our foods and what nutrients that, that stuff they're putting in the foods was taking good nutrients out of our body to bring us, you know, a lot of us heavier. And I found out about um, chromium. So I, I started my quest at that point, honestly. And um, back in uh, back in the early 80s, into the 80s, they started putting a lot of bromide in the wheat products. And that is about the same time that people, um, the diabetes evolution started and people's more and more diabetics came about people put more and more weight on and come to find out that the bromide was taking chromium out of people's systems did that happen to me personally honestly i don't know but i want to tell you something i listened to dr dave janda and he is a real doctor he's a real surgeon and he, he's the one that brought that information that I gathered uh, from him. And then I did some more research. And it was true that the bromide was put in the foods. And it was taking the chromium out of the system, our systems. And it's the chromium that helps our pancreas work to, to, uh, to, for our bodies to create the insulin. So I went and bought some chromium. Uh, and it's an OTC over the counter and I started taking one a day one a day and now I'm up to one in the morning one at night and I'm still losing weight I'm still losing weight I'm taking less insulin because now I, I am a type 2 diabetic I started taking um, I was diagnosed in 2008 and then let me see I guess it's been about five maybe six years ago um, I was put on the pen, on the Nova log, but I was already gaining the weight. And the big part of that problem was the beast that they found up, up in my brain. And uh, 
So once the beast was gone and my body started changing, I took advantage of that and I gave it a little bit of assistance. And I'm really happy. I'm under 200 pounds now. And um, my, I have a goal. I, I've we reached my first goal. Happier than a pig in mud. <laughs> but you know, but you got to do things like that. You have to research a lot. A lot of additives they put in to different things. I don't drink much uh, soda pop anymore. Um, it's not good. Um, there's a lot of other things too that are not good. But if you want to know something about something that you're eating or drinking and you have questions about it, the best thing that you can do is to do the research yourself. I kid you not. I can tell you all day long about this, about that, but you got to do the research yourself because once you learn it yourself, that's it. It's like when you move the curtain and you see the wizard on the other side of the curtain or you see the professor or whoever that was in the Wizard of Oz, you can't you can't deny that he was back there. You know what I'm saying? So once you learn something, it's a whole new revelation. And, and you can think for yourself. You don't have to listen to anybody. There's so much information out there, folks. You can do so much better for yourself. And it's about this is about health. This is about our physical health. This is about our spiritual health. This is about being with the best that we can be all right so with that i'm going to stop this video i don't even know how long i just went uh and i'm sorry i went off on that but i just wanted you folks to know that it's important and don't let nobody ever tell you that you can't do it because they're lying to you you can do and be whatever you want to be okay all right folks i'll catch you later have a great day Bye bye